In previous lecture, I already discussed nested quantifier. Let's discuss how we can translate mathematical statements into statements involving nested quantifier. Example 6. Translate this statement. The sum of two positive integers is always positive into logical expression. First, we need to rewrite it. So, we can rewrite as for every two integers, if these integers are both positive, then the sum of these integers are positive. Now, we will involve some variable. We will involve two variables, x and y. For x and y positive integer, their sum is positive integer. So, we can write for all positive integer x and y, x plus y is positive. Here, it is for all. That's why we will use universal quantifier. For all x, for all y, if x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 implies x plus y greater than 0. This x greater than 0 means x is positive and y is positive, then their sum is also positive. Where domain consists of all integer. If domain will be only positive integer, then we can rewrite as for every two positive integer, sum of this integer is positive. So we don't need to write x greater than 0 and y greater than 0. We can write for all x, for all y, x plus y greater than 0, where domain for both variable consists of all positive integer. For this domain is all integers including both positive and negative. Here domain is only positive integer. Next example 7, translate the statement every real number except 0 has a multiplicative inverse. First we need to rewrite is for every x there is a y such that x multiplication y equals to 1. So you can write for every real number x if x not equals to 0 then there exists a real number y such that x y equals to 1. So, for every real number x, that's why for all x, there exists a y. For x, universal and for y, existential, we can write as for all x, x not equals to 0 implies there exists a y such that x multiplication y equals to 1. Even we can write like this, for all x, there exists y, x not equals to 0 implies x multiplication y equals to 1. You can write there exists y here at the starting after for all x as the first part is not involving any y. This is how you can translate mathematical statement into logical expression using nested quantifier. Next, from nested quantifier how you can translate to English. First, we need to translate according to predicate and quantifier. Next, we can simplify it. Let's see some example. Example 8. Translate the statement for all x, c of x or there exist y, c of y and f of x, y into English where c of x is x as a computer and f of x, y is x and y are friends. And the domain for both x and y consists of all students in your school. So first we will translate according to this quantifier and predicate. For every x, x has a computer or there is some y such that y have computer and x and y are friends. So you can write as for every student x in your school, x has a computer or there is a student y such that y has a computer and x and y are friend. So it's according to predicate and quantifier. Then you can simplify it. So you can write every student in your school has a computer or has a friend who has a computer. So either every student have computer or they have some friends who have computers. Next example 9. Translate the statement there exist x for all y, for all z, f of x y and f of x z and y not equals to z implies negation of f of y z into English where f of a b means a and b are friend 
and the domain for x y z consists of all students in your school first we will translate according to predicates and quantifier so there is a student x such that x and y are friend and x and z are friend y not equals to z and y and z are not friends so that we can write as there is a student x such that for all student y and all student z other than y z is not equals to y if x y are friend and x z are friend then y and z are not friends in a simpler way we can write as there is a student none of whose friends are also friend with each other so there is a student x whose none of friends are friends with each other in today's lecture, I discussed how you can translate mathematical statements into logical expression using nested quantifier and how you can translate nested quantifier to English sentence. In next lecture, I will discuss how you can translate English sentence into logical expression. It's same like mathematical statement. If today's lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.